What's more American than hanging out at the movie theater on a summer evening? Beautiful place like this, come with your family to enjoy uh, some popcorn and soda pop in a movie. Nowadays though, every time we turn the news on, it seems that some type of active shooter scenario is taking place at the theater. There's all types of madmen that do all types of crazy things. How do we combat that? The first and, and foremost is our mindset. We have to make a conscious action in our life to be willing to affect our own survival. So that's number one, mindset. Number two, you need to have a plan. The plan might just be something as simple as if stuff goes bad, I'm going that way and I'm going that way fast. But you also need to be flexible. If everybody in a theater or a crowded place decides to go the same way you did, you might need to, to change that plan and come up with B. Next thing you need to think about is where are you sitting or where are you placing yourself in public spaces? In a theater, are you putting yourself in the middle row of the middle of the theater? Or are you sitting maybe off to one side on an aisle so that you can get up and move about? Scope out who's there. Somebody look out of place, there's some guy in a July day with a trench coat on off in the corner mumbling to himself, I might think something's off here. But go with your guts. If something doesn't look right, it's probably not right. First and foremost, you need to protect your loved ones. You need to get them to safety first. Are you by yourself? Are you with your kids? Are you with your grandmother? You can't just take off running and leave these people sitting in a, in a movie theater. So you need to have a plan to get them to safety first. We need to think about cover. There's a difference between cover and concealment. Throwing a blanket over somebody hides them, but that doesn't stop bullets. So as you're placing yourself in public spaces, we need to be looking for hard cover, places that can protect us or protect our children. So the next step is if you have to confront this attacker. Students say to me, I just pull my gun out and shoot him. Really? So you're in a theater of possibly hundreds of people in the dark. You've probably only been alerted to this problem because there's gunfire or some other commotion and you're gonna stand up and just start shooting in a dark theater. There are so many compound problems for a packed theater and this is why uh, these madmen pick these places. Everybody is very vulnerable sitting there in the dark. So what happens when you've tried to get out, you've tried to hide your kids, nobody's stopping the bad guy, now it's up to you. This is why I'm talking about your mindset, your mindset to prevail, your mindset to, to at all costs stop somebody that's trying to inflict violence on you. And we do that by counter violence. That's what you have to do. You gotta be able to commit to whatever action you're gonna take and see it through to the end until that attacker stops. You've seen in some of our other videos, we've talked about multiple rounds on a target until they are on the floor and stop. This is, this is the scenario. Let's go over some key bullet points here. One is always mindset. Let's think, how do we convert fear into rage? Always paying attention to what's, what's inside of our visual area. Who's coming in, who's going out. Let's always have a plan. Always be willing to change that plan if necessary. Even if the plan's simple, it's way better than no plan. Know the infill and exfill. Think about infill, exfill. How do I get in, how do I get out? Always be thinking about that as you're moving in and out of spaces and places. Place yourself in areas that command visual control. You need to be able to see who's coming in and out of the space. Don't put yourself in a spot where somebody can pop out around a corner or, or come around a wall and you don't know who's coming. Put yourself in a position that you command visual control of your area. Know the difference between hardcover and concealment. Have a quality flashlight. You've seen me use this one in a video before. $20, this thing could save your life. Blind, a, blind an attacker, give yourself a second or two to deploy a weapon. Be able to see to get out of a theater full of people screaming in the dark. We're not trying to scare you with this discussion. I know that people are scared enough. What we're trying to do is change the headline from 12, 13, 15 people murdered by a lunatic to a homicidal maniac walked into a theater and was stopped instantly. And that's gonna happen when people begin to, to take responsibility for their own survival instead of leaving it up to somebody else. And again, we're never suggesting not to call 911. We're never suggesting that we are the police, but what we're trying to do is train people that immediate action is often needed. If you were drowning at the bottom of the pool, you wouldn't sit there and wait for help to arrive. You'd figure out how to swim. Only you and you alone are truly responsible for your personal safety. If you're gonna own a firearm or carry one for self-defense, make sure you train with it and train often. Everything that we do on these videos, we practice many times with unloaded firearms. You need to do the same. Hey, if you like these videos, subscribe above. If there's something that you haven't seen that you'd like to, hit us up in the comment section. We do check those. Train safe, guys. I'm Mickey Shook with carrytrainer.com. Thank you. Guns don't make you safe. Training is what makes you safe. So train hard, train often. If you like our videos, subscribe.
be willing to affect our own survival. So that's number one, mindset. I'd like you all to read Colonel Cooper's book on that. And, and, uh, I don't know if that was good either. Hey guys, if you like these videos, click the button above that you like it. Tell Drew, send an email. Eh. <laughs>